What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So President Biden will be unveiling his second half of his infrastructure bill, most likely within the next seven days. Senator Bernie Sanders and Representative Pramila Jayapal uh, actually have introduced a new bill to provide free college to all. Senator Chuck Schumer and Bernie Sanders are both in uh, support of an additional stimulus check. AOC says President Biden's infrastructure bill is actually way too small and President Biden has now provided a new tax credit to all businesses so that you can actually have paid leave to go and get your vaccine. So that's what we're going to discuss in today's video. So hopefully you had a wonderful day. If you can, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out the channel. Now, if you remember, in this morning's video, I said the, the Biden administration is looking into different ways to provide some type of uh, incentive to entice the American people to go and get the vaccine in order to hopefully reach herd immunity much faster. Well, we actually have news on that. We know now that President Biden is going to do a tax credit. He's going to provide money to businesses so that they can pay you to actually go leave work, go and get the vaccine. And if you have to recover for whatever reason, they will pay you for that. Okay, so I'm going to address that in a minute because that is big. The amount of money that you could potentially get there and businesses, you know, if you are a business owner or you can kind of talk to your, your boss and say, hey, you need to give me this. This is, this is what's out there. It's going to help you. It's going to help me. It's going to help all of us. So I will address that in a minute. But first, let's address the four stimulus check because we are getting another push from Democrats on the fourth stimulus check. What we know is currently Senator uh, Chuck Schumer and Bernie Sanders are both rather quiet on whether they want or do not want a stimulus check. We know they both want it. They both have said they do support an additional stimulus check and direct payments. But according to reports uh, this morning, uh, it is saying that right now they are both rather quiet because they both have higher priorities that have more support. So it's not that they don't support an additional stimulus check or they don't have some support on it, but some of their priorities have more support than the stimulus check at this time. Again, things could change in an instant, but this does not mean a fourth stimulus check won't come or it can't get more support in the future. So whether that's in a couple days, in a couple weeks, or in a couple months, we just don't know. But at this time, both senators are putting their efforts where they see the biggest and quickest return. This is why they are pushing for student loan forgiveness. And the reason I think this is, this is funny is because this is something that they've been pushing for for a while. This is something that President Biden has already asked the, the education secretary about. So this is getting that traction, but they are still pushing for it. So again, they're not going to stop until it passes. But yes, they are pushing for student loan forgiveness. They are pushing for Medicare and a, Medic a Medicare expansion and also larger uh, increasing the, the taxes for larger corporations. That's a big thing that both of them really want. According to reports, though, uh, Bernie Sanders, he has a lot of different things going on. And there's something that I'm going to address in just a minute that has to do with free college. So that's a big thing as well. But Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has said that he wants to see uh, an extension to the unemployment benefits. He wants to see an expansion to the child tax credit of $3,600 and $3,000. And he wants more direct payments to the American people. Both senators and multiple senators, not just those two, believe that additional payments, additional direct payments right to the American people is what is needed to get the economy back on track and get the American people back on their feet. But the problem right now is one person, one man, that is President Biden. Now, he's not necessarily an issue in this case, but he hasn't come out and uh, put his support behind a fourth stimulus check. So according to a few lawmakers, until President Biden says that he supports another stimulus check, we will just be going back and forth as we get closer to a deal getting done. So essentially what they're saying is they're going to keep maneuvering back and forth and try to figure out how do they position this fourth stimulus check in a way that President Biden says, yeah, we need it for that. Could it be that the American people are hurting? They need some more money to spend to not only get back on their feet, but also help propel the economy. If this is the case, 
and more and more uh, lawmakers come out and say this and they try to position this and, and make it that, okay, it's not just for the American people, it's for the economy as well. It's going to help with infrastructure. Maybe this will get President Biden to kind of put his support behind it. So what this lawmaker says, until we see that, it's kind of just jockeying back and forth for position. But one thing we know Bernie Sanders is working on, uh, and he's actually, uh, they did a bill on this or a proposal today. He, uh, he did a proposal for tuition-free college. And this is actually pretty big because, and I say this is big and it's kind of interesting or ironic, I guess, because President Biden is already looking into forgiving student debt, possibly up to $50,000 per student. But what that won't do is that will not make it so every single student that goes to college next will not have any debt. A lot of people will have debt and continue to rack up these these uh, these debts just to go to school. But Bernie Sanders and Representative Pramila Jayapal have said that no, they want to change this. They want to provide for the future of the American people. This bill would make community college tuition free for everyone. That is community college. Okay, don't get that mistaken for a four year university or a public school. This is community college would be free for every single person, no matter what. But a four year public college would be tuition free and debt free for students whose family earns less than $125,000 per year. Okay. This would also double the Pell Grant up to $12,990. And here's the other thing. How is it going to be paid for? Well, up to a certain point, Bernie Sanders had some different ideas on how to tax certain individuals. He wanted to do something called the Tax on Wall Street Speculation Act. Well, he wants to bring that back and he wants to use that money that would be collected from those taxes to pay for this free college for all. So here's how it would work. What we know is this is something that uh, it's been something that has been kind of on Bernie Sanders radar for some time. Now he knows he can take this and there's a specific reason to tax Wall Street traders. So if you are an investor, which hopefully you are, here's what you need to understand. What the tax on Wall Street Speculation Act would do is it would put a 0.5% tax on stock trades. And that's not a lot, but it you can cut into your profits depending on how uh, how slim your margins are. It also would provide a or tax a one or point one percent tax on bonds and a point zero zero five percent tax on derivatives. So that's exactly how that would work. And even Representative Pramila Jayapal said just to, or just yesterday, no today, uh, she said. While President Biden can and should immediately cancel student debt for millions of borrowers, Congress must ensure that working families, families never have to take out these crushing loans to receive a higher education in the first place. And this is just one of the things that progressives are fighting for. We know, you know, Republicans want their priorities. Democrats want theirs. Progressives also have theirs. But they're not done. They're not agreeing on a lot of things. They're fighting. They're pushing back and forth. They're trying to get everything in this infrastructure bill. And as of right now, very little movement is actually happening. But here's what we know. Another progressive, uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, AOC, she says that President Biden is going too small on his infrastructure bill. She states that he must go bigger in order to meet the needs of the country and the American people. But while some question what President Biden is doing, we do know that he is trying to provide for the American people. He is listening to our calls. He's listening to our, uh, you know, our ideas. And here is what he decided to do. Earlier this morning, I mentioned that the Biden administration is trying to find a way to entice the American people to go and get the, the COVID vaccine. Well, it looks like they found a way. What the Biden administration has decided to do is provide a tax credit to businesses, not to the employee, to the businesses. Here's how this works. This tax credit will allow businesses to pay for paid time off to their employee so their employee can go and get the vaccine. And if needed, they can actually pay for their recovery time up to 10 days. So here's what we know. This is, uh, you can get this if you have a business or a nonprofit with less than 500 employees. 
you can actually use this tax credit. And the tax credit will cover paid leave of up to $511 per day for 10 days or 80 work hours. Now, this would have to be, you would have to go and get the vaccine and have this uh, paid time off uh, used up anywhere between April 1st and September 30th, 2021. Those are the current dates. So this right here, I believe is going to get used quite a bit because this not only allows the employees to go and get their shot, but they can still get paid and they'll still get paid if they have some have to take some time off to recover. So that right there is a big incentive, but the tax credit will also provide the employer that that's gonna provide the employer the benefit. So the employer, even though they pay you to go and get the vaccine, go and take time off if you need it, okay, to, re to recover. If they pay you, let's say, $500 a day for, let's say, four days, well, then at the end of the year, the federal government is going to give them a tax credit, okay, $500 for four days, so then give them a tax credit of $2,000. So pretty much they're getting $2,000 in free money to pay you. Free $2,000 to pay you. So do you see why an employer would do this and an employer would almost require their employees to go and get the vaccine? Because they would be getting free money from the government to go and pay you. That's why this is such a big thing for businesses. It's a big thing for employees as well, but for the employer, the business, it's a huge incentive. It's a huge incentive. So I just want you to understand really what's going on here. The, the Biden administration seems like they're, they're listening a little bit. I know for Social Security, that seems like, you know, they don't care. They're not listening, but we will see what happens there. I just wanted to fill you in on what has happened today because today has actually been a pretty, uh, pretty uh, big day. We've seen a lot of different updates, a lot of different reports. Uh, I will bring some more updates to you tomorrow. Don't want to overwhelm, overwhelm you with all this information. I know just a couple things I mentioned in this video are actually pretty big, uh, very impactful for the American people and for businesses as well. So just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. If you can, do me a favor, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.